Queen Elizabeth II was the longest British reigning monarch, she was pronounced dead today. In honor of the Queen, here's a timeline of her life. April 21, 1926, Princess Elizabeth Alexandra Mary Windsor was born at 2.40 a.m. at her parents' home in 17 Bruton Street, Mayfair, London. She was the first child of the Duke and Duchess of York, who later became King George VI and Queen Elizabeth. Elizabeth's early years were spent between Piccadilly in London and at White Lodge in Richmond Park. In 1933, when Her Majesty was seven years old, her father King George VI brought home Dukey, a Pembrokeshire Welsh Corgi. She immediately fell in love with the breed, and is believed to have owned at least 30 corgis since then. December 11, 1936, heiress presumptive Elizabeth's father becomes king when his older brother, King Edward VIII steps down. Princess Elizabeth becomes heiress presumptive. April 21, 1942, Elizabeth made her first public engagement on her 16th birthday by inspecting the soldiers of the Grenadier Guards. November 20, 1947, Elizabeth, aged 21 at the time, married Philip Mountbatten in Westminster Abbey. The couple stayed together for 73 years, until Philip's death on April 9, 2021. November 14, 1948, Elizabeth gave birth to her first child, Prince Charles, at Buckingham Palace. Prince Charles is first in line to the throne. August 15, 1950, Elizabeth had her second child, Princess Anne was born in Clarence House. June 2, 1953, following the death of her father the previous year, Elizabeth's coronation took place in Westminster Abbey. She was crowned Queen Elizabeth II, at age 27. February 19, 1960, Elizabeth had her third child, Prince Andrew was born at Buckingham Palace. March 10, 1964, at the age of 37, Queen Elizabeth gave birth to her fourth and final child, Prince Edward, at Buckingham Palace. May 18, 1965, the Queen's 10-day visit to the Federal Republic of Germany, or West Germany, was the first official visit there by a British royal since 1913. Her visit marked the 20-year anniversary of the end of World War II, helping to symbolize the reconciliation between the two countries. 1970, during a royal tour of Australia and New Zealand, Queen Elizabeth rebelled against centuries of royal tradition when she took a casual stroll to greet crowds of people in person, rather than wave to them from a protected distance. A walkabout is now a regular practice for British royals. June 2, 1977, the Queen's Silver Jubilee or 25 years on the throne was celebrated with Commonwealth visits and a public holiday. June 21, 1982, Prince William was born to Prince Charles and Diana, Princess of Wales. Although William is the Queen's third grandchild, the line of succession means that he is second in line to the throne after his father. The 20th of November 1992, a fire wrecks part of the Queen's home at Windsor Castle. It destroyed 115 rooms, including nine state rooms. The castle was not restored until 1997. August 31, 1997 The death of Princess Diana. The Queen's daughter-in-law, Diana, Princess of Wales, died on August 31 from the injuries she sustained in a car crash in Paris. Tensions between the royal family and Diana were already tense following her controversial interview with Martin Bashir, and so the Queen was under close scrutiny following his death. November 20, 1997, the Queen and Prince Philip celebrated their golden wedding anniversary with a special garden party at Buckingham Palace for couples also celebrating their golden wedding. February to March 2002, the Queen's younger sister, Margaret, died from complications of a stroke on February 9, 2002. The Queen Mother also passed just over a month later, on March 30, aged 101. June 24, 2002, to celebrate her Golden Jubilee, Queen Elizabeth traveled more than 40,000 miles in 2002, including visits to the Caribbean, Australia, New Zealand, and Canada. She also visited 70 cities and towns in 50 counties in the United Kingdom. April 21, 2007, Queen Elizabeth II becomes the oldest ever reigning British monarch, overtaking a record set by her great-great-grandmother, Queen Victoria. May 17, 2007, Queen Elizabeth II visits Dublin in the first state visit to the Republic of Ireland by a reigning British monarch. Elizabeth's visit, during which she expressed her sincere thoughts and deep sympathy, for the victims of the troubled Anglo-Irish past, was widely celebrated as the beginning of a new era of friendship. July 27, 2012, 
the Queen made a cameo alongside Daniel Craig as James Bond for the opening of the London 2012 Olympics. In a short parody film, Bond actor Daniel Craig entered Buckingham Palace wearing his trademark tuxedo. After a pause, Her Majesty turns from her writing desk and says simply, Good evening, Mr. Bond. July 22, 2013, the Queen's great-grandson Prince George was born to Prince William and Kate Middleton. George is third in line to the throne. His birth marked the first time since Victoria's reign that three generations of direct heirs to the British throne were alive at the same time. September 9, 2015, the Queen became the longest reigning monarch in British history, more than 63 years, surpassing her great-grandmother Queen Victoria. At the time the record was broken, Queen Elizabeth had reigned for 23,226 days, 16 hours, and 30 minutes. April 21, 2016, Queen Elizabeth celebrated her 90th birthday. The milestone was marked by a national service of thanksgiving, and a street party of 10,000 people along the mall hosted by the Queen herself. 2020, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle announced their intention to step away from royal duties. Their decision to step back from their roles came as a shock to everyone, including the Queen who was said to be hurt by the choice. The couple then moved to Canada before setting up a home in the United States. April 5, 2020, Queen Elizabeth delivered a special broadcast in relation to the coronavirus outbreak. In a rare speech, she acknowledged the grief and financial hardships Britons faced during the coronavirus pandemic. Echoing the words of the Vera Lynn wartime song, she said that, we will meet again. March 7, 2021, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey aired on March 7 in the United States, and the following day in the UK. The couple didn't hold back as they lifted the lid on life inside the royal family. The royals faced allegations of racism after Harry and Meghan claimed an unnamed member of the family made a comment about how dark their son Archie's skin tone would be. A source told The Sun that the Queen was sad, not angry, about the interview. April 9, 2021, the Queen's loving husband of 73 years, Prince Philip, the Duke of Edinburgh, died aged 99. April 12, 2021, the Queen's milestone birthday marked the first without late husband Prince Philip by her side in seven decades. Celebrations were significantly smaller amid the ongoing coronavirus pandemic and the recent passing of the Duke. April 17, 2021, 30 guests including the Queen attended Prince Philip's funeral in St. George's Chapel, in line with coronavirus guidelines. The Queen sat alone as COVID-19 restrictions dictated that attendees had to socially distance from those outside their household. The nation held a minute silence at 3 p.m. to remember the late Duke of Edinburgh. The royal family were reunited with Prince Harry for the first time since his interview with Oprah. Harry and William were originally expected to walk shoulder to shoulder, but they were separated by their cousin Peter Phillips. June 2, 2021, plans for the Platinum Jubilee were announced, revealing that there will be a four-day weekend in 2022 to celebrate the landmark occasion. The celebration marking the Queen's 70 years on the throne promises to be the largest ever in Britain. October 19, 2021, the Queen politely turned down the Oldie of the Year award organized by Chairman Giles Brandreth for the Oldie magazine. According to an aide, the monarch believes, you are as old as you feel, and thinks she does not meet the relevant criteria for the trophy. Her Majesty sent a message back to the organizers of the prizes with her warmest best wishes, saying she hopes you will find a more worthy recipient. October 20, 2021, Queen Elizabeth had to cancel a trip to Northern Ireland at the last minute following advice from her doctors, who told her to rest for a few days. 25 December 2021, the Queen spoke warmly about Prince Philip on her first Christmas without him in seven decades, saying there was one familiar laugh missing in her home. The 6th of February 2022 marked 70 years since Princess Elizabeth ascended to the throne, becoming Queen Elizabeth II. The 6th of March 2022, Her Majesty decided to leave Buckingham Palace for good and make a permanent move to Windsor Castle. Sources say the Queen enjoyed life with Prince Philip there during the pandemic and the couple rediscovered the happiness of their early years together during this time. It is believed Her Majesty came to prefer life in Windsor. The 29th of March 2022, at the memorial for Prince Philip, the Queen showed public support for disgraced son, Prince Andrew. 
It is the first time the Duke of York has appeared alongside the Queen since he settled his U.S. sex abuse case, paying accuser Virginia Roberts a reported £12 million. Part of the plea deal was the agreement that no formal admission of liability or an apology was owed by the Duke of York. The 14th of April 2022, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle visited the Queen in secret, before going to the Invictus Games. It marked the first time all three were together since 2020. The 21st of April 2022, Her Majesty marked her 96th birthday at Wood Farm, the farmhouse where Prince Philip lived after his retirement on the Sandringham estate. She celebrated her birthday privately, in the wake of her health issues over the previous few months. June 27, 2022, Queen travels to Scotland for first public engagement since Jubilee. The Queen traveled to Scotland with other members of the royal family ahead a week of traditional events. Her appearance north of the border had been unconfirmed due to concerns about her health. The 96-year-old had cut back on public engagements, including Platinum Jubilee celebrations, due to mobility issues. July 15, 2022, the Queen braved the heatwave sun to make a surprise visit to a hospice with the Princess Royal to open its new center. September 6, 2022, Anne appoints Liz Truss as new Prime Minister. Liz Truss officially became the UK's new Prime Minister after being invited to form a new government by the Queen. Her Majesty was pictured shaking hands with the new Tory leader at Balmoral in Scotland. September 8, 2022, Royal family rushes to Queen's side after doctors raise concerns for her health. The Queen was placed under medical supervision at Balmoral after doctors became concerned for her health, Buckingham Palace said. Later in the day, the Queen was pronounced dead. Charles is to succeed the Queen. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more amazing videos.